Hello and welcome to our 107th episode of Fur, Fins, and Feathers. We have a special guest this weekend. We have Bob Medeiros, our beloved Swansea <laughs> selectman, who has Henry, our handsome Portuguese water dog. Welcome. We finally got together. <laughs> Thank you, Brian, for the uh, opportunity to be here. And I wouldn't go as far as saying a special guest, just a regular guest. But thank you for having me on but the show. But he's a very special dog. Henry, a, Henry uh, is a special, the special breed. Guest. Yes, he is a special breed, and we're very, very happy that we have him here uh, with us. So it's a pleasure being here. I heard so much about it. I am very, very honored by the response that I've received from all over the country and many parts of the world. And imagine that right here in our beloved little town of Swansea. Tell us about Henry. How just. How did you get involved in the breed? Henry is a Portuguese water dog. Uh, we, uh, us as a family, we were actually fascinated with the, with the breed. Being Portuguese ourselves, or Portuguese heritage, um, we kind of traced it back and we became very intrigued by it and their origins. Uh, they're uh, native to the Algarve uh, in Portugal and their main function um, was to assist fishermen in retrieval of their nets. So. In essence, Henry's a retriever, like a Labrador. Um, he is a, uh, he's a, a wavy uh, cut dog, uh, or a wavy haired dog, and the water dog has two types of fur. As you know, there's a curly and there's a wavy. Henry happens to be the wavy variety. Uh, he's two years old. Uh, we got uh, Henry, ironically enough, <laughs> from uh, a breeder in central Ohio. And the irony is, he's a water dog, <laughs> originated from a, a water-bordered country, and we get him from a breeder. The Midwest. The Midwest, where there's no water for miles and miles around. But uh, yeah, he came to us a few years ago. He just turned two. So that's how you got interested in the breed, doing some research? Doing some research, absolutely. Absolutely, and we weighed all the, uh, all the options um, uh, that come with the breed. They're a pretty rambunctious breed. Um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> as you've experienced, um, they kind of march to the beat of their own uh, drum, but he's an extremely loyal. Uh, he's an absolute family dog. He will um, let you know when guests arrive. So we tell our folks who come by the house, don't bother ringing the doorbell. We'll know you're here. Uh, so he definitely lets us know. Um, he, um, he's the type of breed, the Portuguese water dogs, they are a, a retriever uh, breed, so he needs absolute frequent exercise. So an exercise routine has to be built into the family function uh, for this dog to uh, thrive. Um, they're very smart, uh, so you not only need to keep them active from a physical standpoint, you need to keep them active also from an, an intellectual or from a mental from a stimulation mental. is important. Absolutely. So we'll play games. Hide and seek is one of the, those things. And he's looking for something right now. Uh, so he's keeping himself entertained that way. Um, it's all right. Nope. I don't want the, the fern to fall. I'm assuming it's a fern. <laughs> it was. It is. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay. What a good doggy here. All right. Here. Why don't you sit with us? All right, excellent. So mental stimulation is absolute key. Um, it keeps them out of trouble, uh, keeps them stimulated, and um, it'll help protect your furniture amongst other things in the, in the home. But uh, quite honestly, we've had him for two years, and uh, he's, he's just been an outstanding uh, pet. I call him my Velcro dog um, because he literally goes with me everywhere. He was a fixture on our campaign when we ran for selection. I know. <laughs> so we would take, a, uh, take him around. He's met me with coffee yes. at Duncan yes. a few times. Yes, he's gone to, to Dunks for coffee. We've planted yard signs. We collected yard signs. And, uh, yeah, where, wherever uh, he's allowed to go, Henry usually accompanies me. Uh, and uh, for, he seems very pleased to do so. The interesting thing in my research about the breed is that the Portuguese water dog almost faced extinction. 
they they did, and I believe you um, uh, you know the uh, uh, the woman that was actually I believe somewhat instrumental. Mrs. Miller in uh, resurrecting the breed or bringing the breed here to New England. Yes. Here, Henry. Here. She had some fabulous Portuguese water dogs. Yes. I remember 40 years ago she had Charlie, uh -huh. who was a brown Portuguese water dog, brown color, and uh, worked with, he hit, was handled by Bill Trainer. And Bill Trainer has passed away many years ago, but Bill Trainer was a very prominent all breed professional handler. And he got Charlie out on the circuit. And Charlie, I remember weekend after weekend, Charlie getting best in show weekend after weekend. That's fantastic. He was a fabulous dog and a wonderful spokesperson for the breed. Oh, he that, was a real good ambassador. That's fantastic. I mean, in the run-up to us deciding on on uh, on the dog, of course, the Westminster show was a staple every time that it was on, and even on some of the other um, uh, shows in the run-up to the Westminster. We would watch it. The Portuguese water dog was featured very often in the, uh, in the working group, and um, again, we just fell in love with the dog. Um, and uh, what really sealed the deal for us was that a friend of ours actually has a female curly Portuguese water dog. So we actually got uh, an opportunity to spend some time um, uh, with the dog. And um, I mean, that, that was it. We were Portuguese water dog people. <laughs> no, no disrespect to any of the other breeds. I, I think all dogs are wonderful. There are no bad dogs. There, there are bad humans sometimes. <laughs> He's having fun down there. Just give him a little bit of leash and a blanket, and, and uh, there you go. This is, this is what he does. Now you have a group, you told me. We, we did. As part of his mental stimulation and exercise, um, I reached out, uh, thankfully, to the uh, almighty Facebook, uh, the, uh, the, the bastion of all knowledge. Uh, and um, we just basically, uh, for the lack of a better term, put all almost like a personal ad <laughs> and uh, we got uh, we got some positive or some feedback actually from uh, some folks local to the area Fall River Tiverton Westport etc and uh, with uh, Portuguese water dogs and uh, we actually all get together a couple of times a month and let the dogs play with each other the the, uh, the and they pack. do you do this locally we do this locally the pack is known as sporty party so shout out to my sporty party group if uh, you happen to catch the show but yes uh, we've been to horse neck beach a few times we went down to we've been to uh, Grinnell's and Fogland and uh, some of the conservation properties uh, out in Westport uh, haven't done uh, uh, the park here in, in Swansea but uh, I got to try to feel that out see if a bunch of dogs would be okay to roam through that. Yeah, I'm sure my cousin who has a new porty would be uh, from a sonnet is gonna, she'll be thrilled when I, we tell her tonight. We're always looking for great people. The dogs are all great. They all get along with each other. Um, and it's, um, it's quite interesting to see them all just running around and I can tell you then we when all we, colors all and colors and all different personalities you know you can tell the alpha male dog or the alpha dog uh, kind of spring out ahead and uh, seeing how all the other dogs sort of interact uh, with it and uh, it, it's uh, it, it's really fun to watch the dogs I really really enjoy uh, the time that uh, we spend with the other dogs and let me tell you Watching them jump in the water when we were out there at Horsenack with the little rollers coming in, and you know this is early April and uh, the water's cold, but doesn't bother these dogs at all. I think I'm still vacuuming sand out of my car. <laughs> the thing that always impressed me was the versatility of the breed. Sure, they can do just about anything. They are again, they are a working, uh, a working class dog, um, and uh, yes, I mean Henry will. He will absolutely do anything. I mean, he's a good dog. He's pretty pretty relaxed right now, considering that you know we're here and he's never been in this environment. But he took to it well, um, so he's relaxing. He's letting us do our thing. 
when we're outside um, doing our routine, if I'm working in the yard, Brian, um, he'll, he'll stand around and you know, he'll do his business, but for the most part, he'll just sit right by me and he'll watch the cars go by and make sure that nobody stops and harasses us. <laughs> Have you ever seen the breed working? Now you've been, you are from the Azores originally. Yes, born. But born there. Have you ever seen the breed working on the continent? I have not seen the breed working on the continent in their in their natural environment. Yes, almost no, not no, not myself. But hopefully someday when uh, when the Madeiruses do get a boat, we can put them out there. Maybe uh, Henry can spring to action and uh, pick the, up a drink. This or two breed that is becoming very widely recognized in their duck diving ability, which is a new sport. It is, it is, and some of our sporty pack. Um, I bet they do dock diving. They do dock diving, and uh, one of them is in that training sort of mode where they start them off slowly, and they now he's at the point where they're going for the distance sort of jumping. Henry, Henry hasn't, uh, hasn't uh, jumped into the pool. We, we're, we're fortunate that we do have a pool at our home. He just prefers to go down the steps. He won't jump in yet. So we're uh, hoping to maybe get some pointers from our sporty pack and um, see what we can do about but having some fun. But they do agility, they can they, do obedience. Obedience. They, every, they, they can do everything. He's a hardy dog. Um, he loves the cold weather. I mean, when we first got him, we had that uh, pretty, pretty severe severe weather yeah you know where uh, you know snow was almost out you know knee deep and I would I would need to take Henry out for his uh, routine business and he would just plow right through the snow he was having a great time and uh, bringing a him back he would he'd be stuck with all the snow on Snowballs. his on his fur and now we're spending a good half hour combing it all out of him but uh, yeah no nothing much to worry about Rain, snow, sleet, whatever, we're out there with the dog. Generally speaking, this is a very healthy breed. Very healthy breed. Um, they do not have, or they're not very susceptible to a, a lot of, um, you know, disease or some of the um, skeletal uh, issues or even some of the muscle issues. They are known for a little bit of some, some hip issues. Um, but uh, throughout good breeding, they, uh, they're really trying to like keep that under control. And genetic, almost... th those breeders, genetic uh, gene pools are very tightly controlled. They are very tightly controlled. And uh, especially out here in the New England area, I mean, to adopt a dog, uh, you have to, it's a pretty rigorous application process. Um, we wanted a dog. Um, the breeders out in Ohio we found were a little bit more more lax, but yet no, still responsible. Um, and um, again, we're fortunate that uh, we happened to uh, see Henry and uh, Abigail. Actually, my daughter Abigail uh, actually picked him out of the uh, out of the litter. He happened to be the runt of the litter. Um, and um, again, we would uh, at this point. Not give them back. <laughs> Their longevity is uh, how uh, long, would he, you say? Uh, the life expectancy is about 14 years on average for a porty. Good. Yep. 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 So he's two years old. He just turned two a uh, month or so ago. Um, and um, yeah, we've, uh, we've gone to obedience classes. Um, we haven't uh, completed yet our, our canine citizen. Um, certificate or program, but uh, we hopefully will look to do that uh, uh, very soon. And we're also uh, thinking of uh, entering him into a service dog uh, program. Like a pet therapy program. Like a pet therapy program for various reasons, two in particular. Uh, one, I think it will give us an opportunity or give Henry the opportunity to travel with us should we travel. Um, especially if we'd like to go back to the old country, we'd like to bring Henry along with us. And having a service dog um, a certificate obviously makes that a little easier. 
But more importantly, we want to make them available if uh, we visit uh, some of the folks, either like at the Council on Aging or at some of the, the local nursing homes or in the schools or whatever that uh, he so has. So very important. It is. I think so. I think so. Um, you know, to become part of the community. Uh, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, in my, you know, to help along with, with my situation uh, in, the, in the position that I hold here in town or not. But just to be a good citizen, I think it's important that, uh, um, you know, the dogs are qualified and, and have, you know, the right training in place to exactly. help participate. Bob, what that. do people, do they, when they meet Henry, what do they ask you what, about the breed? The peop people love Do they know what he is? Hen Henry. No. <laughs> a lot of people uh, confuse him with a doodle. As a matter of fact, one of the girls uh, in our sporty pack, I, uh, she has a little Etsy shop, and she makes the, the, the handkerchiefs yeah. for the dog. And it says, hashtag, not a doodle, PWD on it. It's very funny. I found it extremely amusing. But um, I think in, uh, in all the time that I've had him, Home Depot was one of our favorite shopping places, as most you know, males will, will concur. And I'll bring him in. Only one person has actually recognized the breed right out of the right out of the gate came right up that's a porty what a you know and we started talking about the portuguese water dog but the folks that i that uh, i do correct uh on the breed we talk about the breed and they they recognize the name from uh, president kennedy had dogs and uh, had portuguese water dogs and uh, the kennedys gifted uh, portuguese water dogs to the obama and 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 Bo. Uh, became very popular in the White House when President Obama great children's was there. book too and a great children's book as well the Portuguese I remember uh, the Portuguese water dog really blew that came on the scene in the 1980s they they did they when did. they got AKC recognition and there was an explosion of them there there are and it's you know, once you're in sort of that market, if you will, um, and you Google it, it, they're literally a global breed right now everywhere. They are very popular in England. Very popular, and we've met folks, you know, online in, in some of our, our group pages that are from Iceland. They're from Norway, folks out in Hawaii, folks all over the European continent. It, it literally globally so um, especially around Christmas it's interesting we'll post uh, a Christmas card and the responses you get um, it's a very impressive I think he has a bigger following than I do and it, obviously he's a lot more popular than I am too <laughs> no but I have gotten as the show takes off I get you know inquiries from all over the world almost every day yeah, it's a, again, we're, we're very thrilled uh, with the breed. We've been extremely pleased. Uh, we hadn't had dogs, um, you know, since my wife and I have been married for 20 plus years. We had some cats and uh, Abby came along and we've always talked about getting a dog and um, there you go. We are now Portuguese, proud Portuguese water dog owners and we're very pleased. We're very, very happy. Talk about his place. grooming. His grooming isn't, isn't bad. He goes to the groomer uh, every six weeks or so. Um, right now, he's a little long. Um, he's going to probably get his summer cut at the, uh, at the next visit where the groomer will take him down. Um, the, the Portuguese water dog, there are two, um, two cut varieties. There's the retriever cut, which is what ha uh, Henry is right now, and he's got f the hair. Um, you know, covering his entire body. And then there's the lion cut, which is very iconic. It's a very iconic cut, and if you've ever seen it, um, they're, they're bushy up front, and then from the- Shaved to the burrier. And, exactly, and then the whole hind is shaved pretty much from the bottom of the rib cage uh, down. But we're, we're partial to the, to the retriever cut. Um, we feel it's, it's not a lot of maintenance. The curly dogs, um, they probably have a little more um, upkeep than the wavy dogs. They're a lot. Uh, Henry's e very easy to brush. 
you know, if he goes into the woods and he comes back with whatever. Birds or anything. Uh, we just brush her right off him going back to the, uh, to the snow. <laughs> so uh, our, our friend who has the curly, he upkeeps a, a little different, but uh, not terrible whatsoever. Pretty easy, pretty easy dog other than exercise and keeping the dog mentally stimulated. Which can easily talk about be his done. exercise program. We love taking our walks in the morning, uh, and also in the afternoon when we get back. And um, so, pretty routine. People will see me walking around the neighborhood um, with uh, with Henry. So we'll go. We'll go for a nice little vigorous walk. We'll come back, and um, you know, I'll let him uh, run around in the yard as I'm doing my thing in the yard. Uh, we get really aggressive on our exercise when we do hook up with the uh, with the sporty potties, and uh, so we'll go out. Um, let's say if we're at Horsenek, we'll do a three mile run back and forth. Now, not a physical run. I just can't do it, do that. But you know what I mean. The dogs will be chasing each other, and there'll be lots and lots of activity. Good barking and tail wagging, as far as the eye can see. And they all get along. And they all get along. All get along. The thing that also fascinated me was there is no difference in color. Not, not just the browns and whites, and then there's, there's the, the blacks. And there are some whites that are, some predominant whites with a little bit of black that are out there also. But the other intriguing uh, part that we, we liked about Henry or the, the Portuguese water dog is that they don't shed and they're hypoallergenic which was a drawing card we were we started with carry blues and carries are the same way so and and they genetically way back hundreds and hundreds of years ago the carry blue terrier and this breed have very similar ancestors really because the carry blue terrier came from the from southern from portugal okay you know, and it came across to, and ended up in Ireland. Fantastic. So there is a common genetic, genetic base. Trait. Again, I mean, he's, we're, we're, we're extremely pleased. I mean, words cannot describe, you know, how pleased we are with, with the dog. It's maintenance free other than our feeding, uh, Henry. And for, for a diet, um, Henry eats uh, twice a day where, We've gone from, from the kibbles to the science diets, and right now um, we're uh, on a, um, it's called Num Num. It's almost like a farmer's dog. It's kind of yeah. like a fresh type of thing. And part of the reason why we did that is with, uh, one thing that we did find with the, the kibble, uh, Henry was having some, some allergic reactions to it. Uh, so he would start to, to itch a lot. So we kind of experimented with, with some of the foods and um, we found that the, uh, the more natural uh, food option uh, was a, the right choice for, for Henry. His, uh, his scratching pretty much has stopped. And you primarily feed him treats, carrots? We give him treats. Uh, we do like carrots. Um, we try to stay away from you know the processed sort of uh, food uh, or treats uh, for him. Um, one of the things that we also like to do with Henry is we'll give him the uh, the marrow bones that you can pick up at the at the butcher shop. Sure. And let me tell you, when they say a dog with a bone, Henry's a dog with a bone. He owns that bone until there is no more bone, <laughs> or until he feels he's had an, enough of it. And that's. Kind of like life with, with Henry in a, in a nutshell with us. And right now, he's just chilling. He is having fun and just relaxing. He is just relaxing right now. And I have no, you know, his leash is loose. So he's comfortable here in the studio. They're very well behaved. And um, yeah, he's a, he's a social dog. He'll interact well with other breeds as well. How is he when you bring people to, into the house? Uh, well, you know, like I, I may have mentioned to you, if, you, if we have guests coming over, we tell them that they don't have to bother ringing the doorbell. We'll know that they're there. 
and uh, he is very, very uh, excited when people come come over. One of probably one of the things that we're trying to uh, work out of him is that he's a jumper. He'll he'll want to get your attention. So we'll, yes, my cousin. Uh, <laughs> Indicated. Yes. So, yes, as soon as you come in through the door, he's going to jump on you. So we'll ask our guests to just, you know, turn around. Don't pay him any attention. He'll settle down and then give him attention when uh, he finally sits down. This is great. Would you get another one? Um, the girls have been trying to talk me into getting another one, but I think one's good Good for now. And keep it at Henry. <laughs> just, just keep it Henry. Me, Henry. So if there's anyone out there considering a, a dog breed, I would, I would strongly recommend uh, doing some research on the Portuguese water dog. They yeah. have the Nutmeg uh, Portuguese Water Dog Club, which is very active in, in not only in New England, but it, they, there is a, lot, a local following too. There is. There, there the is. Nutmeg Club. There are several regional uh, Portuguese water, water dog, dog clubs, clubs. There, there, throughout New England. There are, there are. There are some folks up in southern New Hampshire, um, up in the uh, North Shore area. Uh, there's a, even a few out on the Cape. Um, but, uh, I mean, for us, we, we kind of, you know, did that little, you know, blurb out there, and we we're fortunate to to connect with uh, these great folks here locally. And um, right now, it fits. And they're very us. supportive of each other. Very the owners supportive. Are very, very, very supportive. And it's like any, any, um, any other group. Um, you'll talk about some of your experiences with your dog. They'll talk about their experiences with their dog. We try to share some of our learnings. And uh, yeah, we talk about you name it, uh, Brian, F we talk about the food, we talk about the activities, we talk about traveling with dogs, we talk about dogs interacting with other dogs, dogs interacting with people. It's a, it's a great uh, resource for information. It sounds information. like a fun group. I, I, th I think they're, they're a blast. <laughs> and you met them online. And we met them online. It was a pure, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was fate. We just threw it out there. I wasn't expecting much. And um, we got message right away. And um, I think we met uh, a week or two later. Nice. So there's some great, great groups out there. And I'm sure it's the same for any other breed, whether you're into the, the Terriers or the, the, the Frenchies. The, the French Bulldogs are a pretty popular breed these days. They're getting, unfortunately, they are getting too popular. A lot of people have. Now, I heard that they don't swim well. No, they don't. They're, they're and they have a lot of, I shouldn't say this too loud, I'm in public, a lot of health issues. Do they? Tremendous Do amount they? of health issues. They're, they're extremely popular. And they are popular. very expensive. Are they? They're extremely popular. But uh, the point point making uh, to be made is, I mean, regardless of what breed, whether it be the Portuguese water dog like Henry or the French bulldog or the Dalmatian, what have you, um, there's a lot of valuable resources out there that you can find online. There's some I always tell groups. people to go to the AKC website. The AKC website is the absolute first stop for anything that you do. Um, is on the AKC. They'll list breeders there. They'll list the whole uh, uh, a program, a litany of information for the Portuguese water dog from the inception up until now and the breed traits, everything, right down to maintenance. Wonderful. Bob, it's been fabulous having you again. We're going to have uh, Henry again. It's been fantastic being here. We really I'm, enjoyed your, having you. Thank you. Uh, this is your 107th episode. 107 and it's continuing on to do great things. I hear from people from all over the country every day. Well, we are pleased that uh, you do what you do. You bring a, a wealth of knowledge uh, to us. And we're very, very proud that Finns Furthers and Feathers is part of the Swansea community. So, Brian, thank you very much. Well, thank you. It was great to see you again. And we had fun with Henry.